My name is Floris Vanenburg and I'm the coordinator of the OnChips project. The OnChip project is about the OnChip integration of electronics and photonics. We can make silicon optically active to combine electronics and photonics in a single system. We do that because we use a new material system that has been developed a few years ago by one of the partners in our consortium. This is optically active silicon, which is in a different crystallographic direction. So far only the material has been made. And now in this project we are going to make the first real working devices out of that optically active silicon. I grow uh, by uh, chemical vapor deposition inside a big uh, um, uh, ultra vacuum uh, chamber. And we grow uh, the, the nanowires by uh, providing a catalyst with uh, precursor gases. And the, the, the growth uh, uh, is, in fact, um, precipitation in between the catalyst and the nanowire. And we grow uh, step by step, in fact, layer by layer, the nanowire on the substrate. This nanowire, which, is, uh, well, which consists of hexagonal silicon germanium, is the active component of the devices that we envision. And in these devices, we want to control the electronic quantum state of a single electron or a single hole, and then transfer this, this quantum state into a photonic state. And therefore, this electron or hole has to recombine, and then it can be transferred into a photon. And that's what we want to do here in this project. My group works in a range of different uh, optical spectroscopy techniques. So what we do is we basically shoot lasers at semiconductor materials and semiconductor nanostructures. And by doing that, we excite the electrons inside the materials. They then generate light. We collect this light and analyze it. And by doing that, we can learn a lot about the properties of the materials and the physics of what's going on in these systems at very low temperatures and at very short timescales. We are trying to follow what our experimental colleagues are doing. We are trying to pick theory problems which are strongly connected to experiments, based on experiments, and try to solve them, support the, the experimental groups with the calculations and modeling. We're at the very beginning of this uh, project, so we don't know uh, many of the properties of uh, hexagonal germanium. So this is actually exciting. We're trying to figure out some new properties of the system together with our partners. So the technology we work with uh, in our uh, detection system uh, is based on, on a material that is superconducting. And the way it actually detects the photons is by absorbing the photon, and that actually uh, breaks the superconductivity and becomes actually a normal uh, um, metal. So the resistivity grows and we actually can detect it as a, as a voltage uh, pulse out of the system. So for us, it's a, it's a, it's a success if uh, the theory matches the experiment. So either we can predict what the experiment will measure or if, the, if, if uh, we can explain, uh, we can give reasons why the experiments measured what they measured. Um, and the experiments have, have, have you know, high, high goals, important goals. Uh, so the goal of the project is try to combine electronic and optical properties um, of, uh, of this uh, silicon-based materials uh, on chip. Um, and so we expect to have um, new fundamental physics, to find new fundamental physics, and also to move towards actual applications which can hopefully revolutionize uh, optoelectronics with this new um, silicon-based material. Uh, my hope is to have a, a light emission in, uh, in this kind of uh, nano object, in this kind of structure, yes. So one of the challenges, I think, is that very little is known about this uh, system. So that's both a challenge and also what makes it exciting. So um, we have some questions that we don't know the answers to, neither for, from the theory side nor from the experimental side. So we have some big question marks that we have to <laughs> get around. The biggest challenge in this project is that actually nobody has generated quantum dots using this material system before. There are other material systems where quantum dots are quite well established, so other types of compound semiconductors. But hexagonal silicon germanium is really an entirely new material system, and therefore the ingredients of what you need in order to make a quantum dot uh, are not fully established. The methods by which you can trap a single electron in these quantum dots is also not fully established. And even properties like which frequencies of light and which polarizations of light are interacting with the material is also not fully established yet. So the ONCHIPS project really aims to break new ground and try to establish some of these uh, important parameters.